Today we ask the age old question. Will it butter? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. My favorite thing about going to a restaurant is that I get to color on the placemats while I wait for my food. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, there's even a maze. Oh, I bet you're good at those. <laughs> but my second favorite thing is that certain restaurants have their very own unique butter. Signature butters get me out of bed in the morning. Right, you got steakhouse restaurants, they often have a garlic butter, or seafood places mm -hmm. might have a lemon herb butter. Breakfast places sometimes have a maple infused butter. But all that is pretty obvious. The restaurant business needs to step it up because there's a whole world of unexplored butters just waiting to be discovered. Mm -hmm. And who better to explore that delicious, creamy world of unknown butters than these two butterfaces? It's time for Will It Butter? Okay, to make butter, all you really need to do is shake or churn heavy cream until the solids separate from the buttermilk, then season it however you like, and bam, you got yourself some butter. Mm-hmm, and it's in that seasoning step that we have infused some of the most unlikely ingredients into butter so that you do not have to. We're gonna begin with fast food because fancy butter should not be limited to just fancy restaurants. So we made a Carl's Jr. run. Uh, and if you thought a fast food burger couldn't get any unhealthier, you were wrong. We have taken an entire double Western bacon cheeseburger and made it into butter. This is the double butter, Western butter, bacon butter, cheese butter, burger butter. Mm-hmm. It kind of looks like a spam log. Yeah, and a just in case bit. you forgot what was in all that, uh, that's two beef patties, cheese, onion rings, bacon, buns, barbecue sauce, all pureed and whipped. And we've got two biscuits here just waiting to be buttered. Of course, also from Carl's Jr., AKA Hotties. Oh, look at that. Sla slap it on there, yeah, and then. You one, want your one own? One more for, you want, me to, you want me to, I'm gonna take it to the edge. Taking it to the edge. I'm trying to do like a normal person's butter amount. Don't you feel like that's the way, the way to figure out if things will butter? You know, you don't wanna get too nuts. Right, I actually wanna. You want some more butter? I want a little bit more right there on the edge. Now I'm gonna smell it right quick. Way ahead of you, brother. Mm. I smell the barbecue sauce. <laughs> Dink it and I'm sink it. it. You know what, I'm taking that off, I'm just gonna go with it. Yeah, you know what, that's a good idea. Like too much bread. You, you wanna get a pure taste here. That is a meaty, rich butter. It's amazing how much the barbecue sauce comes through in you a might, good way. You might think that you have eaten like a pre-digested Bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. You know, like when that, that summer that I spent with that family of birds. Yep. And they would they and would the go to Carl's Jr. Yeah. Eat eat a meal. And they the wouldn't let you come, but then they would, would come back. Regurgitate it into my mouth and uh -huh. I, I was the biggest of the babies. There were there was a lot of babies around me, but they accepted me. It was a good summer. My family was not happy that I wasn't there. But I, I learned how to eat pureed burgers that birds had digested. The thing is, if you didn't know what was in it and you just ate it, it'd be like, wow, this is an amazing spread. Yeah. What's in it? It's like, well, you don't wanna know, but just enjoy it because I am enjoying it. Yeah. Especially when I detach it from the burger that it once was. I think the verdict is easy. Will it butter? Yes. yes. There are three kind of people in the world. People who put butter on their popcorn, people who don't put butter on their popcorn, and people who mix candy into their popcorn. Well. We got a special treat for the candy popcorn eaters because we have made Starburst Butter. Get ready for Butterburst. It's so pretty. Yeah, and let's... How did those... Mm, smell that, it just smells like... It smells very Starbursty. And buttery at the Whoa, same that, time. That's magical. And if we were to heat that up, we could, we could uh, squirt it onto our movie popcorn. If we were? Yeah. We did, okay. <laughs> So uh, put your, your your corn under there. Oh. Keep it moving. Keep it. Yeah. Okay, that's that's probably enough. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow. Boy, it's really coming through. Very starbursty. And the popcorn is already buttered. You didn't dink it. You oh, I'm sorry. For it. Dink it. Dink it. Oh man. Whoa! That's really good. Liquefied Starburst all over your popcorn? Yes, please. We could uh, we could sell this. Can we sell this? Do we have to get Starburst per permission? Look at that. Ooh, it's. Look at that right oh gosh. Mm, yeah. It's pretty no, good. You too. didn't have enough butter in that situation. I mean, oh, yeah. it kind of tastes like you got like a candy coated popcorn, which is a thing. <laughs> Excuse me. 
then like left it in the back window of your car on a 90 degree day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, in the best way possible. Will it butter? Yes. yes. All right, this next butter might be my most anticipated will it item ever. My hopes and dreams have literally never been higher. I present to you, baked bean butter. Okay, it looks like a chalk log. Oh, I was hoping for a little more, well, gotta say. Uh, this ooh, is, but smell it. I mean. Oh man. It's a whole can of Bush's baked beans pureed and whipped. Yes, and give it a nice. into the butter. Give it a, here you go. Give it a nice satisfying. I heard it makes noises when you cut into it. <laughs> You've ruined the experience. I feel like I need a fresh slice, like a slice that, you know, I just broke the seal there. And we have some cornbread to go on it. It's right there. there I'm go. actually, I'm gonna put it on the cornbread. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness. It's thick. Thick and hearty. Make you farty? Mm. Okay. All right. So putting that right there. I'm ready, man. I'm pretty excited about this too. Make it. And sink it. It's really good. I feel like I just gotta go straight though. You're just gonna eat it? Yeah. That's right. That's what Daddy needed. It made it even better. Yeah. I mean, typically you don't just eat butter like just grab a log and bite it. Try it. The the beans really take the edge off of the butter because it's got it's got real butter, but it just tastes like I I dip chips into that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, you straight, straight, I'm fine. I'm gonna eat some more. Oh wow, Rhett. I and I, I'm a lover of, of a good cornbread, and it's it's magical. I mean, it it elevates the cornbread to a heavenly realm that I didn't know beans could take me. Well, I've been there many times with beans. Don't you know sometimes when I, I go away for a, a bit and I come back and I've got this, this glow about me? Yeah. It's almost like the glow of a pregnant woman. Mm -hmm. That's the glow of a man who's communed with the beans. Well, bring them down from the mountaintop, buddy, because we're gonna have to keep this in the pantry. No, oh, the, the Ten Command beans. <laughs> Baked Baked beans, beans, will it butter? butter? Yes! There is something so satisfying about warm, liquefied butter. It just sits there in its little saucer, begging you to dip something into it and soak up its goodness. But I will say that it's a little dull to look at. I've always thought mm. that it could use a little color, you yeah. know? Mm. Which is why this next butter has been made with crayons. That's right, crayon oh. butter with a little crayon shaving over the top because as That's you can see. It's amazing. The, the butter log itself turned into just like a brown clay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a nice satisfying slap here. Just slab it. And since you mentioned liquefied butter, that is how, that is the way we're going to be trying this. Right, so, so we melted all that down, and it turns out that when you melt crayon butter, it's not brown, it's green. Oh gosh. This is the drawn it's, version, it's, it's, it's still got some liquid, uh, some solid crayons in there. And that's why and in, course, both, in both versions we're calling this drawn butter. Get it? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Break into that lobster and let's dip it in some crayon butter, Rhett. Oh man. Oh. You can really tell it's an insect when you just when you do that, you know? Oh. That's a whole that's a whole thing. Okay. Alright, I've got a nice size piece of lobster tail there. Let's let's crayon it up, man. We can do a little dipping first. Oh. oh gosh, that's a lot of crayon. The good thing about this butter is you know that you've you've dipped it. Yep. Yeah. You know sometimes you're like, did I dip my lobster yet? Maybe I'll have to dip it again. Hey May Maybelline. <laughs> I just named a woman Maybelline. That's fine. Chuck Berry did it, that first. It, yeah. It, but it, it oh it is a woman's name. It isn't just a makeup. Yeah. Not just a makeup anymore. It's a woman again. All right. Dink, dink it. it. Dink it. Um, There's a taste in there. It's kind of messing up the experience for me. Yeah, I think that's the crayon. The crayon, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very waxy. It's the best form I've ever eaten crayons in though. And because there is some butter in there and there is a lobster in my mouth as well. It's I'm, really I'm, not bad. It's not bad. I mean, mm. it doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste as good as butter. But it tastes so much better than I expected that I feel like it might butter. Because of the color. And color's because of the butter. Yeah. Crayons, will it butter? Yes. yes! In order to truly explore the potential of butter, we decided we needed to go back to the source. And when we got there, we found a cow. And when we got to the cow, we kept going deeper, beyond the udders. 
and there we found the place where butter was first conceived. The cow guts. Yes, ah. ladies and gentlemen, this is utter butter. Ah, utterly but disgusting made, but butter. It's, but it's made from, from guts, okay. including uh, lower intestine, colon, stomach, spleen, yum, 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 all the way, boiled for safety, then pureed and whipped, and of course, for good measure, we added some other cow parts on top. Can you slice it and then let's smell it? I have some toast to put on it since. The old slice and smell. We, we don't want to dilute the flavors with anything besides. Oh, oh gosh. it doesn't really. Oh, it doesn't really stay together that well. Uh, uh, here, let's see if I get a better slice here. Okay, there we go. I mean, it's like we made cow spam and, oh, and, no. and butter together. Oh no, it's got that familiar uh, intestine <laughs> smell. Like it's just so obvious that it's just been a tunnel for poop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a poop tunnel. Uh, Why uh, do we eat so many poop tunnels? Uh, all I'm right. not gonna smell it again. Let's spread it on some bread and eat it. Okay. Because we have to answer this question, you know? You need to know whether or not you, you need to be making butter with cow guts. You know, and if we don't... Might be a good use of it. If we don't spread it on some, some bread and eat it, you'll never know. Oh, you'll no. just live in ignorance. We can't have that. We gotta go to the edge with it. All right, I'm giving you a nice corner there and I'm giving me a nice corner here and then I'm gonna and cut them apart. Ugh. Okay, Rhett, there's your half. You know, a better name for this would be gutter. Or maybe it's great. I'm sure it's not. <sighs> but we have, but we can't just conclude that. I made that edge right there for you. Oh, thank That's you. where your mouth goes. Thank you for pointing out where my mouth goes. Dink, Dink it. And sink it. Bad. Oh gosh. <coughs> I'm crying. I'm chewing. Come on, don't no. no. <coughs> My body. My body's saying no, man. Uh, let's, uh, let's 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 get it down though. We're not gonna fully know how bad it is unless we swallow it. The edge is taken off just enough to leave it right on this precipice of yeah. almost letting it like yeah. typically I would just be Spitting it out so fast, but in butter I, form, it's I a keep, little better. I keep tasting butter, <sighs> and I want to keep going. It's kind of got a bone marrowy kind of a vibe, good, good idea. Which, which might help you. Not good. me, but it might help you. Mm, good idea. Yeah, think about that. <sighs> okay, <coughs> I did it. Oh my goodness! I won't ever do it again. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> okay. Like you needed us to taste that in order to know. Uh, but the simple answer is cow guts. Will it butter? No! <laughs> of course it won't! Uh, okay, if you like these butters, don't go anywhere because in Good Mythical More, we are eating butter that was made out of a Butterfinger candy bar uh, in hopes to redeem our palate. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, you know what time it is. Hi, my name is Magnus from Shargao Island, Philippines. And it's time to spin the wheels of mythicality. Yeah! All right, <laughs> click through to watch us eat Butterfingers butter. Oh, I wish I could teleport there. And to see what the mythicality is going on ahead. Oh, I think you said wheel of mythicality. We have a podcast called Ear Biscuits, and you can listen to the latest episode wherever you get your podcast. Do it.